experiencing a lot of hot flushes, uh, sweats at night, poor sleep, uh, mood swings, menopausal madness is the, uh, the frame we've coined and I'm sure many of you ladies out there know exactly what I'm talking about. So we're going to show you the treatment that we use for menopause along with the formulas and uh, also talk a little bit about what menopause actually is in traditional Chinese medicine. So um, I'll do the treatment and talk about it as we go. Okay. So when we talk about a hot flush, we, we're talking about, imagine you've got like a, a, a pan on the stove and you, you, the, the stove's hot and you put the pan on there and the pan's on there and then you put some water or you put some oil in and it, psh, it fizzles up, okay? And you get like a, a flash in the pan, so to speak. So we know that we're 70 odd percent water and we've got our own internal thermostat. So the idea of fire or heat and water in the body is a reasonably easy concept to grasp. So what happens is as we get older, water in the body naturally declines, okay? Much like you look at a tree, when you've got the, the bottom of the tree and it's all dried out and you get the supple branches up the top that are way here and filled full of sap. And so as a woman gets to a certain age, the water in the body becomes too low. Now every two hours, energy switches from what we call yin to yang. Yin is water, yang is fire. And so what happens is that when the water time comes in to take over from the yang time, there isn't enough water to keep fire in balance like it has for the rest of our lives, for up until then. And so what happens is, so fire comes in, not enough water to handle it, psh, menopausal flush. So this is the theory on why we have flushes. But let's talk about why we get menopause in the first place, because they've suggested that there are actually countries around the world where women don't get menopause. I can't imagine what type of utopian society that would be, but I'm sure other people are running around and all very happy. <clears throat> so, throughout, a woman's life, once she reaches the age where menstruation begins, every single month, she's got to lay down an endometrium, and then two weeks later, bleed it out. And so there's this constant cycle of regenerating and losing blood that goes on for a good 38 years of a woman's life. Men, we don't have this problem. We don't have to make up blood every month. However, you girls do. It's blood that brings healing and nutrition to every single cell of the body, okay? The reason why things tend to go wrong when a woman has her period is because she's losing her blood. There's not enough blood to run everything in the body. And so diseases or problems that usually aren't there, while the body is replete with blood, all of a sudden raises its head because the body is struggling to make up the amount of blood that it requires to run itself on a daily basis. So after 38 years, every month, give or take, for that time, this whole cycle of regeneration of blood has run its course. It's worn out. And so a woman's ability to reproduce blood in her body becomes weak and deficient. And from that, we have a myriad of different symptoms and diseases that can arise, disorders, sorry, that can arise from this poor blood production that's now become a standard inside the body. And so a part of a good menopause treatment should include nourishing the blood, which helps take care of the symptoms in the first place. You don't want to be too good at nourishing the blood though because you might actually bring the period back, which is good for the overall health of the body. However, for the woman who has willingly undergone 38 years of menstruation, looking forward to not having menstruation anymore, is very happy that the menstruation is gone, and though you may be treating her flushes effectively, 
she'd like that and not the period at the same time, so uh, watch how good you are with trying to find that blood. So uh, here we are now with treatments that we use. So first and foremost, the most obvious point that we use is uh, liver three. Third point on the liver channel. Number one point in the body for nourishing the blood. Second one, kidney three. This is um, number one point for nourishing kidney yin, which helps improve the water in the body. So when we're treating menopause, <clears throat> we want to harness fire, and the way we harness fire is by putting back water as well. So kidney three is the point which puts water back in the body, and kidney two is the point we use to harness fire. This point can be a little sensitive, so we're going to use the guide tube here so that patient H doesn't have to suffer unnecessarily. The uh, next one is a very good one. Because menopause is obviously associated with reproductive function, and that reproduction function has lost its course, it's, it's run its course, it's no longer well regulated. So we add in spleen six, which regulates a woman's womanly functions. And this is a pretty, pretty good treatment for menopause. However, I must stress that adding uh, herbs, using herbal formulas, Shantang, Zhuwi Wan, Tiang Wang Bu Xing Dan, Gan Ma Da Zhao Wan, formulas like that are really good for harnessing the fire, putting back the water, balancing out uh, the mood swings. Gan Ma Da Zhao Wan is absolutely spectacular for balancing out the mood swings. Can be a little bit warming. And so if that doesn't work and sleep's really bad, it's been going on for a long time, uh, Tian Wang Wu Xing Dan is very effective. But as a general rule, I'll use Er Shan Tang and Zou Wei Wang, Zou Wei Tang as the base formula and then add on there accordingly. Now also, um, woman experiences great sweats associated with menopause, in which case large intestine 11 is the best point for that. Let me just pop that in there. Helps reduce the fire. <clears throat> I know we, we talk a lot about um, menopause being associated with deficient fire, but there's also can be excess fire on there as well. And you just got to look at the symptoms and treat accordingly. So uh, thanks very much for watching us today, and um, have a great day.